For the past several months, a lot of the popular content on my channel has been focused around Chromebooks. Uh, apparently people like the idea of being able to do more with their Chromebook than just what Google intended. The most popular video out of all of those that I've released is how to install Windows on a Chromebook. And I actually ended up making a few follow-up videos to that to explain why maybe it's not a good idea to do that. The biggest reason for most people why they wouldn't want to do that is because most Chromebooks only have 16 or 32 gigs of hard drive space available to them when you get them. I've got an Acer 720p, I believe, or an Acer C720. Um, either way, it's only got 16 gigs of hard drive space. That is until today. The folks over at Banggood asked if I'd be interested in collaborating on a project with them and asked if I had any ideas. And immediately I knew that I wanted to get a new SSD or an M.2 drive for my Chromebook so that I can continue to make more Chromebook videos that are relevant and, and might uh, expand on what you can possibly do with a Chromebook. So what I wanna do in this video is actually show you the process of changing out the M.2 drive on a Chromebook. So before we get started on all of that, I wanna make a few disclaimers. The first one being not all Chromebooks can be upgraded. Some of them come with 16 gigs of hard drive space and two gigs of RAM, and that's all you get. There's no changing it. The Acer C720 or 720p uh, does have an upgradable SSD or M.2, so that's what I'm gonna be using in this video. I don't know if yours is compatible. I don't know if yours can be upgraded. Um, you're just gonna have to do some Googling or take the back off of your Chromebook and see if there's a replaceable M.2 drive or SSD in there. Also, because of the way different machines are built, different Chromebooks, different laptops, whatever, each one is going to be a little different in what it can accept for storage and RAM and things like that. So even if your Chromebook is compatible and can be upgraded, the, the SSD or the M.2 that I'm using right here may not be the one for your Chromebook. You're gonna have to do some research on your own to figure out what size uh, hard drive, whether it's an M.2 or an SSD, you need to do the upgrade for your Chromebook. Uh, I'm only doing this to show what I can do with mine. Also, one other caveat that I just remembered, uh, when you swap out the, uh, the M.2 or the SSD in your Chromebook, you're gonna lose everything. So make sure that all your stuff is backed up to the cloud or to an external drive or whatever the case may be, uh, to make sure that you don't lose all of your stuff. Also, uh, that being said, when you put the new drive in, you're not gonna have an operating system. So make sure that you've got uh, media available to boot from, whether it's a Chromebook recovery USB or an operating system, if you've got a modified BIOS or whatever. But just know that when you do this, you're going to lose access to everything on that old drive. So make sure that you've got something ready to boot from. So with all of that being said, uh, let's switch camera angles get the Chromebook up on screen and I'll show you the process of actually replacing uh, the M.2 or SSD in a Chromebook. Okay, so this is the bottom of my Chromebook. Um, if you've watched my past videos, you may know that um, I rarely ever put these screws back in um, just because of the way this particular Chromebook clips back together. Um, so you will probably have to remove all of the screws on the bottom of your Chromebook in order to get in here. Um, also keep in mind that there may be one under a sticker somewhere for warranty purposes or whatever. Um, that's what it says there, so that's what I'm going with. So once you've got all the screws out, it's just a matter of finding an edge and pulling it off. So we'll set that aside. Okay, so right here is our M.2 drive. So the first thing that we'll need to do here, obviously, is take out this retention screw and take out the drive. And here you can see that is the 16 gig uh, Kingston drive that came with my Chromebook. And uh, obviously this is the one we're replacing. This is not big enough. Now here is the King spec SSD or M.2 drive that I got from Banggood. Uh, this is a 256 gig model. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open and we'll take a look. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so nothing else in there, empty box. They actually include an extra retention screw. I really like that. And then of course, we've got our M.2 drive here. Yep, so like I said, King Spec 256 gig. Um, that's the drive that we're gonna go ahead and put in our Chromebook here. So we'll just go ahead and slide this in. I wanna make sure that it's pushed all the way in so that none of those, um, none of those contacts are showing there. And I'm just gonna reuse the screw that we had from when we took our old drive out. 
And just like that, we've replaced the M.2 drive in here. So of course, now we need to put the back of, or the bottom of the Chromebook back on here. So we'll just push. Make sure everything is clicked into place there. Okay guys, so that's really how easy it is to swap out uh, the storage, the M.2 SSD, whatever you've got in your Chromebook. Very, very simple, few screws, just take the screws out, take the hardware out, put the new hardware in, replace the screw, you're good to go. Of course, then there's the matter of reinstalling your operating system. Um, and again, that's a pretty simple process as well. Uh, if you've got a, a standard uh, factory BIOS, just creating a Chromebook recovery USB will get you back up and running very, very quickly. However, like I've got a modified BIOS, so I can just throw in, you know, a Pop! OS or a Windows or, or whatever USB drive I want and actually set up my operating system then. So very, very simple process. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up, maybe share it with somebody. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, you can do things, like I said, like the video, subscribe. There's a link in the description that's a, a support link that will take you to a site that's got several different links uh, of different ways that you can help support the channel as well. Also, in the future, I will be doing more Chromebook videos because I've got more storage available to me. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.